The French ambassador to Israel, Christophe Bigot, stated Tuesday that it is legally impossible for France to extradite the two suspects in the hit-and-run case that killed Israeli citizen Lisa Tuni. We have a law in France which was passed in 2004, and this law very clearly say that we, that France, cannot extradite its own citizens. We cannot. Except for the countries who are members of the European Union. The ambassador spoke before the Knesset Immigration, Absorption and Diaspora Affairs Committee. The committee was investigating the possibility of extraditing the two suspects, Claude Isaac Hyatt and Eric Rubik. Hayat and Rubik, who were touring Israel at the time of Zatouni's death in September, fled to France immediately following the accident. Ambassador Begat added that the two men will be tried in a French court as soon as Israeli officials ask for their arrest, and that under French penal code, their sentence can be as high as 10 years in prison. We are determined that justice be done. Justice be done. Justice should be done. There is absolutely no doubt about this, and this is a very strong commitment at the highest level. And I want to tell you that justice can be done in France, and um, as you know, the justice in France is, I think, as fair and as independent as the, is, as the Israeli justice. Responding to questions about the delay, an Israeli police representative said that they are still investigating the hit-and-run killing and that they are working closely with the French authorities. The state prosecutor working on the case, Yitzhak Blum, refused to say whether Israel had or will send an extradition request to France to try the suspects in Israel. Family members of Lisa Tuni, present at the committee, were upset to hear that the two suspects still walk free in France. Zatouni's boyfriend, Roy Pellet, warned that Hayat and Rubik's freedom gives the impression that tourists are impugned from punishment in Israel. I know that if tomorrow I come out here and I'm going to go out here and I'm going to go out here and I'm going to go out here and I'm going ואז הוא יזכה שם לעונש המופחת של 4 עד 7 שנים, או אם הקהילה תלחץ בשיא הכוח, הוא יקבל את השמונה שנים שלו, שבארץ הוא היה מקבל 14 שנה. Committee head Danny Danone said that they will conduct a closed session with Justice Minister Yaakov Neeman to hear the reasons for the delay in sending out the arrest warrant to France. Benjamin Spear reporting for the Jerusalem Post.